BBC News with Fiona MacDonald. President Biden and the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson have discussed the evacuation of thousands of people from the Afghan capital, Kabul, ahead of a virtual summit of G7 leaders on Tuesday. There's growing pressure on Washington to stay in the country beyond the end of the month to allow more civilians to be evacuated. The Taliban are against the idea. The group says it has surrounded resistance forces in the Panjshir Valley in northern Afghanistan. A Taliban spokesman said they were trying to negotiate a solution. The Pentagon has ordered all active and reserve US troops to be vaccinated against COVID-19 after the US Food and Drug Administration granted full approval to Pfizer's two-dose vaccine for people over 16. The leader of the far-right Proud Boys group in the United States has been sentenced to five months in jail after being found guilty of misdemeanour offences during a pro-Trump demonstration last December. Henry Tarrio, known to his followers as Enrique, admitted burning a Black Lives Matter banner. The independent investigators working on the collapse of a Mexico City metro rail line which killed 26 people in May have asked for more time to complete their inquiries. A preliminary report found that the crash was caused by construction errors. Eritrea has rejected US allegations that their armed forces chief has been involved in serious human rights abuses in northern Ethiopia. The US Treasury Department has imposed sanctions on General Filipos Voldehoyahannis, saying troops under his command were responsible for massacres, looting and sexual assaults during the war in Tigray. And personal items belonging to Al Capone, the notorious American gangster, will be sold at auction in California in October. Among the nearly 200 items is the monster's favourite pistol. Al Capone made a fortune during the Prohibition era. BBC News.